Hey guys, Rachel Capil here, coming at you at Halloween's Pumpkin Patch. I'm telling you all about the different pumpkin catches in the area. We are at the Nun's Farm, and this is one of the ones that was highly recommended. So enjoy, take a look at the video. As you can see, I'm going through the maze. Click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and get notified every time I have a new video out. Enjoy, and happy Halloween. All right, these are my top picks for the area. Um, you've got Wanna Creek, Brentwood, and Half Moon Bay. Shadelands I love because it stays open really late. So if it's super hot out, you can actually go later, which is a really nice bonus. Um, we went to Three Nuns Farm in the video, um, which is really great too. Cool activities, I've heard Smith Family Farms is great and Lemos as well. So Lemos Farm is in Half Moon Bay, so you're gonna get that cooler weather there. Something to take note of. <laughs> right, so this is Three Nuns Farm. It's really cool. There's a lot of um, neat things for the kids, great places to pick up pumpkins and to take a lot of cute pictures here. My little guy was not feeling the pictures, so it was a bit of bribing to get him to do them, but we've got uh, a tractor ride here that takes you into the main area. You can kind of see all the pumpkins you can pick from, and there's a couple different mazes that you can go through. They're pretty fun, um, and yeah, lots of stuff for the kids to kind of mess around with. This is the maze. Oh my gosh, I hope we can make it out of here alive. absolutely gorgeous here but definitely you're gonna need a sun hat or something if you're gonna be going here in the middle of the day not much shade uh, check the weather make sure to bring water I think water is a big 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 deal for this heat but you can see it's absolutely gorgeous and the tractor ride is really fun for all the littles and just getting out there and enjoying the nature Okay, now Lima's Family Farm is in Half Moon Bay, and I've heard awesome things about this place. So definitely worth it to check it out. And um, one added bonus in this crazy global warming, you can actually be by the beach, so you can get that nice cool beach breeze. So something to take note if it's hot out. Now this is Smith Family Farm in Brentwood. I've heard really great things about this place, so it's definitely worth it to check it out. Shadelands I love because it stays open late. And it's a smaller pumpkin patch, but we packed a lot in and we had a great time. So I think this one's definitely worth it, especially to beat the heat if you don't want to go to Half Moon Bay. Another one. Five, number five. I want to drive your shoes. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Click the subscribe button to see if I made it out alive of this crazy maze. So there you have it, my favorite pumpkin patches in the area. Uh, each one is different, has different things to offer. So go out and enjoy and take the fam, go get your teenagers to take some pictures over there for Instagram and just go out and have some fun. One quick side note, if you can go later, the better because it is hot. Rock. Or just go to the one in Half Moon Bay. You're good. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Got some value. Now you know some cool pumpkin patches to take the kids to in the family or the teenagers that want to keep doing the selfies. Till next time. Bye. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep getting my newsletter and finding out the cool spots in the bay. Peace.